we begin the day with official confirmation. Last month, July, was the hottest on record. Not only was it the hottest month on record, it was the hottest by a wide margin. Europe's climate monitor, the Copernicus Climate Change Service, reported today that the average global temperature in July was 16.95 degrees Celsius. Now, that's an increase of 0.33 degrees compared to the last record high that was set four years ago. A jump of one-third of one degree may sound small, but scientists say it is more than enough to make our weather more extreme more often, the heat waves helped push the average global temperature above that key 1.5 degrees limit several days in July. So how to reduce the number of spikes before it's too late? Well, we spoke to Samantha Burgess earlier. She's deputy director of the Copernicus Climate Change Service. And we talked to her about the increase in temperatures and the knock-on effects on weather and the oceans. Yes, it is. So the uh, record air temperatures and the record ocean temperatures are directly linked to the concentration of greenhouse gases in our atmosphere. There are a huge number of factors that impact global um, uh, warming of either the air, the land surface or the, the ocean surface. So our data speaks to the ocean surface rather than the whole ocean. And there's a big difference between what happens on the surface of the ocean because it directly um, absorbs solar radiation, so heat energy from the sun versus the deep ocean. Um, in terms of the, the different ways the, the ocean can warm up, so one can be that it warms up because the atmosphere above it is warmer, um, so there's direct exchange there. One is through currents coming from underneath. One e uh, Another method is through additional solar radiation. So when we have weather patterns that are big blocking highs, it's nice and still, uh, it's cloud-free skies, you get a lot more solar radiation. The ocean is a dark surface, so it absorbs more of this solar radiation. And these are just some of the mechanisms that have led to this record in global ocean surface temperatures. Um, when the ocean is warmer, uh, particularly the surface ocean, is less efficient at absorbing uh, heat and absorbing carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. So we know that uh, already the ocean has absorbed about 90% of the excess heat from human-induced climate change. Um, and as the surface ocean warms, it's going to be less effective at absorbing additional heat and less effective at absorbing uh, carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases. Um, so this means until we turn off the tap of emissions entering the atmosphere, the um, uh, climate change will continue to increase, which means we'll get increases in global air temperatures and global ocean temperatures. Mm. And, and this is why scientists are encouraging um, ambitious action to get to net zero as quickly as possible, because we know from the scientific evidence that with a warmer world, we're more likely to have more intense and uh, more frequent extreme events.